Hello everyone, my name is Mike Cross, and today we're going to be working on a basic stoichiometry problem, kind of get a feel for how these things work. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how these would be worded. So in this problem it says how many moles of HCl, hydrochloric acid, are required to completely react with 5.6 moles of aluminum. We're given an equation right here. It doesn't look like it's balanced, and really the very first thing we need to do whenever looking at a stoichiometry problem is to make sure we have a balanced equation because otherwise we're going to put in a lot of effort and a lot of calculations and end up getting the wrong answer um, in most cases simply because we forgot to balance our equation. Now also whenever I am working on a stoichiometry problem I like to have this little plan of attack that I showed down here in the bottom. Um, this is kind of a, a little thing that allows me to see how I can go from grams to moles which in this case would use uh, molar mass of substance A. And then if I want to change from moles of A to moles of B, I'm going to go ahead and use a balanced equation for that. And if I want to go from moles of B to grams of B, I'm going to use a molar mass. Now, I'm not going to use all three, you know, steps in every case, um, but I, I liked having this little plan of attack here just so that I can see how many steps my problem is going to take. So, let's go ahead and um, start by balancing our equation. In this case, it uh, looks like I have one aluminum on each side of the reaction arrow, which is a good thing. Um, it looks like, though, on the um, left-hand side, I have one chlorine. On the right, I have three. So that's a problem. I'm going to go ahead and put a three here to balance the chlorines. Now, that does balance the chlorines. However, notice that I actually have three hydrogens on the left and only two on the right. So in order to, to fix that, I'm actually going to change that to a 6 instead. And then I'm going to put a 3 here. And then that does balance my hydrogens. But in order to balance the chlorines, I'm going to need to put a 2 there. And then to balance out the aluminums, I'm going to put a 2 there. Now you can double check that all of those are balanced, but it looks like it is. So the next step is I need to go ahead and set up my actual um, stoichiometry problem. Now when I do these, I like to go ahead and set up some boxes. I find this is the easiest way to do it. Now you may have a slightly different way, but this works for me. All right. And then when I'm doing this, I like to look through the problem and see what is my question mark? What am I trying to find out? Now in this case, it says how many moles of HCl. So I'm going to go ahead and write question mark moles of HCl right there in the bottom right hand corner and then in the top left I need to put whatever I'm, I'm starting with. Now in this case it mentions 5.6 moles of aluminum so I'm gonna go ahead and write that there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look at this and it looks like I'm going from moles of aluminum moles of substance A we'll call it to moles of HCl, moles of substance B. So looking down here in the bottom right hand corner, looks like I'm going from moles of A into moles of B. You see that? So that means that I only need one step, this right here. I need to use my balanced equation. So I'm going to go ahead and put a box here in the center. And notice that in the top left hand corner I have moles of aluminum. So I need to make sure that I put moles of aluminum down here in the bottom right hand corner so that they'll cancel out. Um, and then in the bottom right it looks like I have a moles of HCl so I'm going to put moles of HCl in the top portion so that that way it will cancel as well. Now because this is a balanced equation step I need to make sure that I pull the numbers from my balanced equation. So looking at my HCl if I find that here looks like it's six moles of HCl so I need to make sure that I put a six here and then looking at aluminum, here's my aluminum in my equation, I need to make sure that I put a 2 there. Now I can go ahead and just double check that um, everything cancels out. So it looks like moles of aluminum cancel top and bottom, moles of HCl cancel top and bottom, which means I know I've set up this problem correctly. Um, so that's a good sign. The last step that I need is uh, because everything canceled, I need to go ahead and just pull out my trusty calculator and multiply all the way across the top, multiply all the way across the bottom, and then divide top over bottom. So in this case, 5.6 times 6, and then I'm going to divide by 2. 
Looks like in this case it comes out to 16.8. Um, I only have two sig figs to start with, so I'm going to go ahead and just round that to 17. Now I need to make sure that I have my units. Looks like my final units were moles of HCl. So I'm going to go ahead and just write that as 17 moles of HCl. And that would be the answer to my question here.